Today, we're gonna wire in our Lear topper to our 2005 Ram 2500. Cut off the previous owner's connector right there. And it's pretty cool. You can do a little test with a nine volt battery to make sure the LED light works. Some tools we'll need, zip ties, crimp and wire cutters, speaker wire, two connectors, butt splices, and a lighter. Go underneath the truck. On Dodges, it's pretty cool. Because they were thinking from the factory. And we'll tie into this little wire here that's tucked up into the wiring harness here. And after we get that out of there, we'll pull off a little of the coating and expose some wire. Take your other connector, and we'll connect right in there, and we'll run speaker wire then down to the wire loom where the spare is.
snap that in. Then we'll run the speaker wire down to the inside of the bed. And then take the tail light out and run it down through the body. So that's what we got once we got our connectors done. So we can take the topper off and on without removing the wiring. Go underneath, grab our little light here. And this is going to be the wire that we're going to tie into. There's that wire. Thank you, Dodge. We're going to take our speaker wire here. Run it to the back of the truck, through the bed in the hole there, and come out through this little hole here, and then straight down through the body. Get your every cable ran. You can put tail light back in. It's following the same wires that go to your turn signal and brake light. Now we're under the truck. We took our speaker wire down through that hole right there, followed our turn signal and brake light, the left turn signal and brake light, over the frame, and then right here, speaker wire, white and tan striped wire, then we're gonna draw, or drill a pilot hole right here, put our ground, and then use another butt splice to tie into that hot brake light wire.
couple mishaps, but looking good up there. Oh yeah, money. Moment of truth now. Left a little slack up here still. Nice. Yep. Voila. One more time. Sweet.